Hi there, I'm Greg. We're going to take a look at another floor framing detail from the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing. Now in this video, we're going to look at simple techniques for installing OSB subfloor, including storage, laying panels, gapping, gluing, and nailing. Following these recommendations will help you build floors that are quiet, strong, and squeak free. Keep OSB dry and out of standing water prior to installation. Store OSB panels at least 4 inches off the ground to ensure they are protected. You can cover panels with plastic, but be sure that all surfaces are open to the air. It's essential to start with a smooth, flat surface before you lay panels. Make sure the framing underneath is level and not twisted. You can add shims or blocking if needed. Check that the panel's span rating meets or exceeds the job requirements you are working on. Plan out your installation pattern before installing the OSB. Panels should be placed with the 8-foot length perpendicular to the floor joists. To make sure that the first course of panels runs straight and true, measure and mark 4 feet in from the opposite exterior corners of the floor system. Then snap a chalk line across the top of the joists. When laying out the flooring, be sure that each panel spans at least two TJI joists and that the panel edges fall at the center of the support. You may need to trim some panels to do so. Lay out rows of panels so that end joints are offset by at least one on-center spacing of the TJI joists. Now be sure to stagger the OSB flooring so the butt ends don't run along the same joist length. This will really increase the stability of the floor and improve its performance. Start with a full 8-foot sheet so that you can cut the last sheet in that course to fit the floor system precisely. When you get to the second course, you can start with a 4-foot sheet and then move to an 8-foot sheet. Continue alternating courses in this manner to cover the entire floor system. Now it's important to glue the OSB floor panels to the TJI joist to improve floor stiffness. Before gluing, make sure the joists are dry and free of dirt. Apply a quarter inch bead of solvent-based elastomeric construction adhesive across the top of the joists and blocking. If the supports are three and a half inches or wider, you'll want to use a serpentine pattern. Use two beads of adhesive on TGI joists where panels meet to ensure that both panels firmly adhere to the framing. It's best to lay down adhesive for just one or two panels at a time so that the adhesive doesn't dry out and develop a skin. This would reduce the holding strength and may lead to squeaky floors. Install the first panel with the tongue edge toward the outside perimeter. This will protect the tongues on the subsequent panels from being damaged when you slide them into place. Apply an eighth inch bead of glue in each groove and gently tap the panels together. It's a good idea to wipe away excess glue to reduce the risk of bumps in the floor. It's critical that OSB panels are spaced to allow for the expansion that occurs when they are exposed to moisture and changes in humidity, which can lead to buckling, cracks, and squeaks. So be sure to maintain an eighth inch gap at panel ends and edges. Today we're using Weyerhaeuser Edge Gold Flooring which has a self-gapping tongue and groove profile and automatically gaps the edges as the floor is assembled. For gapping the panel ends, it's easy to gauge an eighth inch gap by just using a 10D nail. When you drop the panel into place, aim for a snug fit for the tongue and groove, maintaining the eighth inch gap. You can easily tighten the panels together using the heel of your foot in a scuffing motion. Do not under any circumstances, use a sledgehammer and directly hit the edge of the OSB panel. This will damage the fibers and ruin the panel edges. Nail the flooring in place before the glue sets. Start by nailing a row 3 8 inch from one edge and work across the flooring in rows until the flooring is completely fastened. Be sure to drive nails flush to the panel face. The standard nailing pattern is 6 inches along the panel edges and every 12 inches in the panel field unless otherwise specified on your plans. Always completely nail off each panel before installing the next panel and stand on the panel being installed to snug it to the TJI joist before pulling the trigger on the nail gun. If you're using Weyerhaeuser Edge Gold subfloor, you'll find that it has the correct fastener template pattern printed on the panel, showing where each fastener should be placed. 
Always make sure safety is a priority on the job site. Follow OSHA requirements for personal protection equipment and forklift safety. Thanks for watching these best practices on subfloor installation brought to you by Warehouser, manufacturer of Edge Gold floor panels and Trust Joist engineered wood products. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series of floor framing details, which you'll find online at trustjoist.com videos. You can also find more detailed information on floor framing in the Trust Joist installation guide for floor and roof framing, which is available online or from your local representative.